Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 12 of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Last time we continued making our way through the Stone Spires on our way to Dagon's laboratory. We completed some puzzles left behind by the Jedi during the High Republic and managed to get ourselves some Corbo Matter Grinder for BD1, which helped us with our challenges. Uh, we discovered basically what had happened with the data. It seemed to have been destroyed by some of the other Jedi who did not like Dagon's research. So that led to something of a dead end at the moment, unless we can find the data, because I believe Dagon actually recovered it and went off with it. So that's the end of that for the time being. Uh, but in our exploration, we also came across Tuli Mu and Bima Ook, and yes, I'm definitely reading that off the computer, who was our two missing strange people that we heard a rumor about in the bar. And they seem to have something to do with music, I think. I think they were trying to record sounds. Uh, so we, we had a word with them as well. So I have made my way back to the Pylons Saloon. Before we head off to the Shattered Moon, I think I'm just going to catch up with everybody. So let's have a word with Grease. Hey, kid. I got some bad news on our favorite Ordo Eris fanatic. I already know Sork Tormo's put a fresh bounty on my head. You do? One of your regulars clued me in on his game. She's been keeping tabs on the Haxian Brood, so this time we've got the jump on him. Sheesh. You figure that guy would let things go by now. <laughs> Not now, oh, dear. Now. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack, but I don't know exactly what he changed. Uh, that's... I don't hate it. Huh. <laughs> okay. Do you actually know what he's doing? Possibly. After being back on the Manus, this saloon is looking filthy by comparison. Maybe some cleaning will help. Okay, I'm done with that. So it's a monk. Hi, monk. So you and Grease have any big dreams for this cantina? Well, there's a stage collecting dust. Perhaps one day we'll hire some off-world bands. That sure help us stand out. I'd say standing out isn't your problem. Fair point. But just so you know, the band at my previous gig packed more heat than a hot solder guard. And until this raider situation is under control, let the music play on. Hey, sport, can't chat now. Keeping an eye on those two treasure hunters who just showed up. Remember to relax every now and then, will you? Too much tension in the coils is bad for the joints, if you catch my drift. Yeah, good point. Treasure hunters, eh? Hello, Mosey. How long have the raiders been here? A few years. Not long after I arrived. I don't know a planet in the Outer Rim free of raiders in general, but these bedlam bastards have changed Kobo forever. Most hunters know you call when you need to, and you stop hunting when a herd gets too low. These raiders kill for sport, and made a lot of those beasts much more hostile to us. Take Shiverpedes, for example. When they lose habitat, they get territorial and fight back. Same as us, really. Sure enough. Biggest mistake our kind ever made was thinking we are any different. Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. Okay. Deep. Hey, boat. Looks like I've met your whole crew, Cal. The old crew, that is. <laughs> Seemed like there was some tension between you and Seer, huh? It's always a little strange seeing someone after being apart for years. Hmm. Don't have too many people like that in my life. But that probably says more about me than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just me and Kata. And that's about as much as I can handle these days. The more people in your life, the more you can lose. You know? Deep. Very deep. Don't forget about that shattered moon. Cordova seems to think it was important. Good call. I know, I'm doing it. Might just be Grease's stew talking, but this place is beginning to grow on me. <laughs> nice, okay. Uh, can't talk to you guys, can I? Let's just... Can't actually do anything with that, can we? Private table. All right, then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. Hmm. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. I'm Cal. This is BD. Noisy little thing. Hey, you watch yourself. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? Once or twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf? Grok! I'm sure it ain't that bad. The hell I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. Huh. 
Come on, BD. So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. Okay, I'll just read that before it drops off. Grok is a tradesman and mechanic who partners with Dana to seek the treasures of Kobo. On okay. account of my good looks. And also Dana. Savvy Grifter, Dana is always looking to strike it big on the frontier with her partner Grok. Yeah, That's nothing right. else. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or imprisoned. What the car, Grok? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh -uh. Point is, Grok and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Come back later, yeah? See you when I see you. Oh, it was quite very quickly warmed up to us. Okay, nothing from you. It's a cash. What do we have here? Okay. Ah, oh, so we actually get little perks for the bounty perks. We've got grips for the guns. We got slice probe droid. Someone's interested. Slice droid. Huh. Okay, let's get this. Link. There we go. That's it. Fine. I don't have any more yet, Cadge. There he is. Got your first target lined up. Looks like some Hexian hack named Kip Oster has been slinking around Dredger Gorge. This guy likes to catch his prey off guard, so watch your back. Thanks for the tip. Thank me when you turn in his bounty puck. Listen, now that we're partners. Partners, huh? Business associates, best buds, call us whatever you will. Point is. Our relationship is an investment, and we've got bigger fish to fry than these raider hacks. I'll get to those bounties, but if my friends are in trouble, they take priority. You're gonna get killed with that attitude, Cal. But on a certain level, I can respect it. Go on now, I'm busy. You ever leave this booth? Thinking about it. Wouldn't hold your breath, though. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, hello, select. Greetings, Sojourner. Just Cal will do. It will not. Okay. You don't look like the other prospectors. No, no, no. They unearth riches. Tulapt excavates that which cannot be so easily grasped. Make a lot of credits in that line of work? Wisdom is a good that never decays and is always in short supply. Sojourner. You smell of smoke and sand. Okay, Tulak. The fortune teller Tulak arrives in the cantina following an attack on her home planet. Like most things about Tulak, Tulak, what she seeks on Kobo is a mystery. I should take another shower then. Talk to you later, Tulak. Okay. Um, hey, Tor. What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. That sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. All part of an imperial control zone. Well said. Hey. hey. Go, 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 go. Hey, Moran. So how did you end up on the wrong side of the law? After my studies, I worked in the Republic Tax Collection Agency investigating revenue disputes. You were a tax collector? Sounds pretty legitimate so far. Drearily legitimate. But it did introduce me to a steady procession of people desperate for things to shake out in their favor, so to speak. And you helped them out for a price. Yes. But my fee was nothing compared to the price they paid at the hands of a corrupt system. Whatever you say, Moran. Talk later, hmm? Okay. <laughs> it's such a character. Okay, I think we are done. So, let's head out of the bar. I'm going to stop up at uh, Doma's. 
Okay, go on. You load in the other side world. Thank you. Um, and then we'll jump back on top of the Mantis, I think. Hello, come on here. Hello, Doma. Where are you going? This is the workbench. Oh. Yeah, we don't need the workbench, we do. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. Tempting. Yes, yeah, so we've got six shards to spend. Let's get... Oh, that would be all cost six. Windswept, Shag, Buzzcut, and Extended Mustache. Oh, that's a mighty stash. Do you say so myself? You know what, let's get the Hawk, I think. Could use this. I held that one just for you. Oh, thanks. Thank bye you. Bye-bye now. I don't see what all the fuss is about with that droid. I think she's talking about Z. It's like that's all people want to talk about. A droid that old is pretty exciting. Well, I'm old. No one wants to talk about me. Look, let, let me tell you. I was one of the first people in this town, and I have seen a whole lot of fads and flavors of the week. Like what? Well, we once had a fire juggler come in. People paid to see her, too. Fifty credits a pop. Sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was fun. Till she burned half the food silo down. Ah, uh, not fun. See, stuff that's new is exciting, sure, but what really counts is consistency. Reliability. You've been coming around here so much, you're basically a regular. You've got great stuff. Most shop owners would offer a discount or the like, but <clears throat> not me. <laughs> okay. Not personal, but you start handing out freebies, you have people up in arms asking, why not me, Doma? <laughs> Don't need to hassle. That makes sense. Gris ever tell you the story of how we met? No, let's hear it. Oh, he first landed, talking dreams of taking over a cantina. I begged him as just another prior right vulture. Someone who comes out of nowhere, turns a credit from a few suckers and skips town. Of course, when I saw him putting real care into the cantina, well, I knew we were cut from the same cloth. Pyloons is as important to him as the Mantis. That's why he named it after his great-grandma. That's right. You stick with Grease. He's one of the good ones. Just don't tell him I said that. <laughs> don't want to get an ego. Alright, that's everything. Got Turgle in here somewhere? I see Turgle. Oh, well, Turgle turns just to be hanging around in, in Pylons. Mostly. Hello. I noticed you before. Okay, uh, we are done. So, let's at last board the Mantis. Right, so we should be heading... And here, I'm not mistaken. My new haircut. <laughs> the Hulk. So yeah, so as I mentioned previously, um, we are pretty much going to focus on getting story stuff done. I'm not going to adventure off too much because we just do not have the skills and stuff to actually unlock anything. And it gets quite annoying going to areas and just being able to pick up like 75% of the stuff. But cause I like clearing up areas so I never have to come back. So I don't see the point of doing full exploration until we've got everything we need to be able to do it thoroughly but obviously any collectibles we come across along the way we will pick up um so yeah so i think we are just about heading for the shuttered shuttered moon there we go Found for the moon of kobo yeah where did you come from <laughs> next stop kobo's moon that's my line know your role you shoot things me i'm the pilot so, you give that old tech Cal found in Dagon's place a look? Yeah. Maybe that lab on the moon will shed some light. What do you think happened to it? The moon? Ah, who knows? Who cares? I don't got time for moons. Some sort of natural disaster, I'm guessing. Eh, yeah, maybe. I'm surprised the moon's still habitable. You and me evidently have different ideas of habitable. I know. I've seen your cantina. Watch it. Bo, do you watch yourself? I, I, I forgot, did we, um... So, did we actually already... Did we pick up the item that was left behind? I thought, uh, Dagon took it. There we go, didn't even have to travel into hyperspace. Like I'm watching a 90s film <laughs> with that haircut. Sorry. Good? Yeah, just a smidge rusty. You? 
a little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. <laughs> Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. You sure, it's not your cooking. What was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. This be a few texture glitches going on here. Okay. Well, I mean, could be haunted. Okay. Yeah, they agrees. You okay? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just delighted you brought the manus to another haunted moon. It won't be long. Just gotta look for that laboratory Cordova found in the archive database. Sure. Take your time. Hurry to that lab, kid. I don't know what happened here, and I don't want to know. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Is Bode in the cockpit? No. Is he outside? He is. Why is he coming with us? They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. I'm on watch here. So far, I've spotted one nervous Latero. Oh, so he's not coming with us. Okay. Let's just see where we are. I think I am aware. Cargo loading deck. Is that where I have us pinned? Yes, we do. Okie dokie. Right. Um, I think I did a little bit of research, sort of scanning all the marks and stuff like that. I think the vast majority of stuff in this world we can actually pick up on our first go. So. Give it a thorough look around. There could be a data disk. Hello. The station is closed. They're here. Who's here? We've been attacked. Evacuation protocols in order. This station is closed. It is dangerous to remain here. Right. Okay. Well, oh, okay. There we go. First of all, got a data disk. Okay, I think that's everything we can do for the time being. Let's head on down. Sensari Cree. Okay, oh, we've got a med point. I see a med point. Okay, the automated forge. Got an echo here too. We think there's something past the abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the council. Okay, the unconvinced. Two High Republic scientists are discussing the stellar anomaly and their work on the facility. Despite a disagreement on the exact goal of their work, both are aligned in continuing the research. Okay. Um, hang on, was there anything else? Yeah, we didn't pick up uh, about the shattered moon. The outing moon of Corbo hangs in space above the planet like a warning. Grievously damaged in some past disaster, huge chunks of crust and mantle spew from the wounds the moon's wounded surface, trailing across nearby space. It is understood that pieces of this catastrophe once fell below to Corbo, resulting in much of the damage strewn across its surface. In the time before, however, a vast facility was erected on the satellite moon by the Republic, they used it for research and development as they intensified their studies into the Corbo system and its anomalous properties. Yeah, so that would have been the um, the emergence. It's, oh, bloody okay, hell! So that way. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, that would have been the, the hyperspace disaster, wouldn't it? So. Okay, going down. I take it. And they expect to see this place operational after all this time. And stay alert. We need to find that lab. Oh, there we go. I do not wish to burn, please. 
There we go. Excellent. Shortcut. And a med point as well. Excellent day. Nothing new though. Let's go. Okay, I can't go this way just yet. That's fine. Excuse me. Oh. Hello. Can can I talk? Sectors five through nine and operable. Sectors one through four operational. Facility status activated. Array status deactivated. Okay, okay. Thank you. Um. Oh, oh, hey, 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 what the hell? Oh, it is timed, okay. I thought they just started burning me because I landed on it. <laughs> okay, we got, we got a little something, something. Okay, we've got a harmony grip. Lovely. Okie dokie. Right, come around here. Should have another echo. What's the reading? Not holding. We'll need to reinforce the chamber again. A skill point in the name of science. Two public scientists conduct tests with unacceptable results. The only path forward one suggests is to further reinforce the apparatus. Cool. Oh, oh, way. Are you fine? Hey. How dare you? You son of a bitch. Alright, I don't really want to do that just yet. Is this going to kill me if I go in here? Okay, not quite. Strength. Ooh, <laughs> her. Nice. Just come Hi. <laughs> but you come quietly, huh? You damn fool. Okay. Wait a minute, I can get bell. Well, actually, okay, okay. Uno minuto. I think, if we could, I think this is the way that we want to... Should be a skill point around here. Like, right about there. A health essence. Oh, okay. There we go, That's, that was sneaky. There, you get it. Oh, more health, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh my goodness me. How are you supposed to... Mm. No! Yeah, why do you keep overshooting it? <laughs> it's getting very annoying. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, let's you keep burning. Oh, just 
just let us wrap up around here. Okay. There is a lot from the other side. Hi. Greetings. Target spotted. What? Who? Yeah, it looks like there's only one way forward. Bad feeling? Yeah. It's droids? Oh dear. Let's not activate the droids. But the droids are all gonna get activated. Just just my thought. Oh hello. Gotcha. Oh, and they've been activated. Not happening. <laughs> they really don't want us looking over well, I mean. do they? <laughs> Why'd you go and die? Okay, oh. All you, BD. Go and slice it, BD. Okay, droid recharging station. The entire room is dedicated to the recharging of the facility's myriad maintenance droids. Since the raider occupation, however, the battery station has to be repurposed for battle droid uses. Okay, I didn't even know they needed charging, but... Okie dokie. Head down that way. Data disc up here. Lovely, thank you. There we go. So I was looking for... Hey, unique metal. Ooh. That should open up that door. Indeed. Alright, excellent. Pretty much on track at the moment. Go to nearly everything. There is um, a bounty that we passed that was in the same place as that Bedlam Raider, like the first one we encountered. So imagine once we return, that will be replaced by a bounty hunter. Spotted. All right, biggie. Think you're all that? Systems damaged. Oh, and you're done. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. There's none of that. Okay. Sorry, fly. <laughs> Go and slice it. Okay, you've got the harmony emitter. I'm assuming we can scan you too. Good job. Okay. Magna Guard. Can counteract even after being parried. Don't let your guard down. Can continue the fight even when beheaded, but even though they become more aggressive, they also become more predictable. Okay, created by Hollow One Me Mechanicals, the IG-100 Magna Guards were some of the most proficient battle droids in the Separatist army. Primarily used to defend high ranking Separatist leaders, their electro staffs were capable of holding their own against Jedi lightsabers. Their surprising agility combined with their ability to persist even with lost limbs gave even the fiercest Jedi warriors a challenge. There we go. Yep. Done and done. Alright, we are looking good. We are looking good. Okay, do not walk into the flames. 
This is a bad idea. That seems to have transferred the damage of some sort, I don't know. Okay, this looks this looks harmful. You know, like a hurry, hurry, Cal! Oh my God! Whew. Easier taking your last time, aren't you? Okay, okay. Going up and at him. Okay. Right. Ah, there it is up there. Okay. I was gonna say, um I mean Matt, there's a shortcut around here, but I couldn't see it. There's our shortcut. But where this leads. Very interesting. Oh, don't land in the bloody. Little goofball. Hey, monitoring station. A station teeming with droid activity must be run efficiently or risk chaos. Monitoring stations can be found at intervals around the facility used to locate any droid units and redirect them accordingly. Okay. Ah. Oh. Let's show this to Z. And with that, we have another force tear as well. Focus. What are we doing this time? Oh, another fight. Oh dear. Hundred and fifty? Oh my god. <laughs> This seems almost cruel. <laughs> They're just sort of standing around. Roger, Roger. <laughs> A Jedi. <laughs> but he doesn't have a lightsaber. It won't matter. <laughs> Look how many there are! Oh my god! Oh, I'm not scared. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, this is actually quite funny. <laughs> they just do not do anything. This would be so much more difficult if they're like just genuine, like normal B1 droids with the guns and that. Other than that, this is just a massacre. This it probably is a quite a good one for uh, grinding out the Han Solo trophy, which is one I'm aiming for, to do, which is to defeat 50 enemies affected by slow. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Oh, I'd spot too soon, didn't I? They're, they're, they're bringing in the big guns now. <laughs> oh my god, friendly fire! Friendly fire! <laughs> oh no! Oh god! <laughs> well, that looks exactly like what you're doing. <laughs> oh my god, that was perfect. I loved that so much. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Absolute goofballs. I love them. I right, got another skill point. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Oh, damn it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't get over that. That was so much fun. Okay. Right, where are we going? Oh, no. That was so close to perfection. Damn it. Okay. I, I take it. I think that is the way you do it. Oh, that was cheeky. That was cheeky. Alright, I where are we? Skill point. I think I know where we are. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's right, so in the automated forge. Let's right. I still can't get over that. That was just an absolute massacre. And even then, like, oh my god, this actually be a lot more difficult. It probably would have been if they didn't have the gr uh, like the grenade ones as well. That would just absolutely wipe in the other guys out. It was great. Can't get over it. Okay, so there's, there's nothing up here, is there? I don't think so. Okay, let's just carry on. Look out ahead, BD! Not out of it yet! Kidding me? Boom. Nice work, buddy. Sector 5 Delta, no anomalies. Scanning. Sector 5 Epsilon, no anomalies. Scanning. Here could use Sector a refresh. Five theta, one anomaly. The sky is broken. We've been attacked. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Everything's going wrong. Okay, so this actually should take us right back to where we started. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, we don't need the workbench BD. Okay, okay. That goes up to where we need to go. Okay, I see what it is. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we are safe. Uh oh. Not done yet. We can do this. Ooh. Help, please. Feeling better. Okay, that is the end of it, isn't it? It's like, oh, if you follow it through to the end, there's another thing. Ready, BD? Oh man. Oh no, you don't know. Why would you go backwards? That was almost perfection. Oh, god damn it. Why are you going backwards? I don't I don't get it. I don't get why you're doing this. Just let it run off and not jump. There we go, that seems to have worked. No, why? Why do you run backwards? I don't get it. Oh, oh, to enjoy that, buddy. Oh, 
I don't, I don't even know. Was, is that the right thing to do? <laughs> Who's sassing? Who's being a sassy little droid? Another base for the Bedlam Raiders! We're unstoppable! Those other droids here are such chumps. They do whatever we say. Suckers. You'll never catch me taking orders like that. No way. Not me. Uh, I mean, unless it was Ravis, in which case, well, obviously. I'd sooner be broken down for scrap than get pushed around by anyone else. <laughs> Jedi. It's this little droid. <laughs> Happy to help. Okay. What a haunted old ruin. What if the boss says there's something here? Who am I to question it? Hey, ghosts in the machine. Ravis demanded the abandoned halls of the moon station be thoroughly exhumed, even if the raiders themselves did not understand why. Okay, ghosts in the machine. Where are you? Ah, okay. Uh, we assembly staging? Yes, we are. Okay, so I can mark that off. Okay. Anything else up here? Okay, so the shortcut. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, look. The Jedi. You shouldn't be here. No, no. Too close. Fun as it is to have something to fight, Ravis won't be too happy if you get any closer. So run along, Jedi. Okay. Well, maybe an area that we can't get through. Uh, I actually missed... Uh... Yeah. I was thinking, like, I'm sure there's a data discovery. Data off this disk. There we go. We've well, got it. Still here. You have guts. I'll give you that. But I've got my orders. So get out of here. Okay. We've got a uh, box. The centric. Is that our first centric? I thought I'm not sure. I'll be back for you. Ah, that was fun down there, doesn't it? Well, that went well. Of course. Of course. Then let's pick up. Well, so there's something uh, glowing then. Hello. Thank you. Appreciate your help. Oh, there we go. And what is this? Horse essence. Is that you? It is indeed. Okie dokie.
Nice no, from a higher platform this time. There is something back there. We. Okay, well, first of all, we've got a, uh, another data disk. Get that scanned. Okay. Alright, let's just. Okay, yeah, lift a droid. Where maintenance droids saw to the regulation of the factory systems, the lifter droids took on the role of manual labourers, having heaving construction materials to wherever they are needed. Okay. Make sure the way is sealed. Nobody gets through. Turn on that Jedi scan. Torch, this is coming. That's right. We should send word, let them know we spotted him. I would prefer to kill him myself, but I'd sooner not answer to Ravis. Uh, there is always next time. Wait a minute. Just pick into the shot platform near the wall. Okay, just one second. Oh, dude. We're off. May actually be something down there that I missed. Ah, there it is. Let's get this data disk back to Z. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that one then. Let's... No, you're the. Okay. I think we're all cleared up. Let's carry on going. So I think we can get the drop on them. something important up ahead. Okay. So, I think it was just... in this, yeah? Wunderbar. Right. Okay, okay. okay. This is where we are, yes. How many raiders do you think there are? A lot. Yeah. You cannot enter the laboratory. Mara. Give me one damn good reason. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt just a little the grenade, I loved it. Oh dear. Ah, oh, stupid droids. Where would it be without him? Data disk back to Z. Just make sure I know where I am. I think I do. Right. I think we're all good. Target 
Oh, another BX droid. Oh. Whatever's ahead, they really don't want us getting to it. A little help, PD. Yeah, we just happened to get a bloody scavenger droid thing as well. Destroyed wall. The calamity that struck Cobalt also ripped its moon apart. Wrapped right by quakes and subsidence, sections of the facility were torn from the foundation and strewn about the interstellar flotsam. That's a lot of words. Okay, we are we are really doing a number on this place. <laughs> we are doing quite well. I'm quite happy for once. Okay, swinging. Woo! Oh, this is another one. I can't really defend them. There we go, thank you. Took a sweet ass time about it, but it is what it is. Oh. Hey, whoa, 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 Hey. No, Cal, why are you going off to the side? Why are you going off to the side? Thank you, droid, you saved me. Whew. Scary. Hello, buddy. You're an idiot. <laughs> now, let's see, where are we? It's the bit where you fall, it's the bit where you climb back up. Wait, 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 what, 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 what was I supposed to do there? I don't know. I thought I was, thought I was toast. Oh, okay. I was like, are you supposed to run this thing? I did. I tied up perfectly. They really don't want us inside. Yeah. So I gathered. What'd you find? Heavy duty. Don't think I can move it. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, we got something up here. Another med point. Okay, we're in the array channel. Are you sure? No, I don't need the rest. I've still got. Three skill points. Um. Right. So we can lock onto there. Supposed to give us the distance to. Hmm. What's he sure about? There should be a shortcut right here. I'm not seeing anything. Huh. 
I really need that for that. I really need to. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, any benefit to... Ah, okay. Oh, there is something up it. There's the shortcut. <laughs> I found it. Found it over. So, superstructure fabricated. Nice. Okay. Let's open that up. Let's go. It's all the same area. Okay, right, I suppose. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going up here. And now what, BD? Say okay a lot of someone who just has no idea what he's doing, don't they? Forge rights. Left alone here for centuries. Until the raiders came. Ooh. What have we found? not very nice. Okay, broken droid. Someone seemingly armed with an energy weapon strikes down a maintenance droid at a rage having not found what they were looking for. Hmm. Okay, and we are just to check in the superstructure fabricators. Yup. Yeah, so it seems to be exactly where we want to be. Real fish is going on here. Did he? Ah. Ah, well, there's the. We should get these back to put over. Device acquired. I put device. I was promised something interesting, and he trembled. Curse you! Ha! Ah. That was interesting. <laughs> that was not good. That's you done, sir. You is dead. Dead as disco. 
This lightsaber will make a fine addition to my collection. Custom emitter. Maybe we can salvage it. <laughs> but he just like tough to do with excitement, like, ooh, you emit her. Oh, okay. Try it out. Okay, cross guard stance acquired. Cal can you can they use the cross guard stance in combat? The cross guard stance is capable of slower and more powerful attacks and has increased stamina for defense. Hmm, okay. Okay, we've got a med point as well. We should also have a um Echo here as well. I'll go. I'm Buddy. the best pilot for this mission and you know it. Every ship we've sent into the abyss has vanished without a trace. We'll go together. I cannot let you take the risk alone. This is your invention. No one else understands it. You're the only one who can guide me back. I'll find you. All right, I'll record the passage and make sure you return to us. Another memory. Okay, Dagon's long shots. Dagon and Centauri stream of tunnel law requires an almost impossible task to navigate the lethal Cobo abyss. Unaided in order to record the safe passage for others, Dagon volunteers to be that pilot. Right, okay. Uh, sorry that the Bedlam Raider seemed to uh, interrupt us there. I, would, I wasn't sure. Just thought we'd um, multitask. That is actually quite cool. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to wrap up. Thank you. Limey. Okay, well, let's meditate, and I think that is where we'll stop for today. So, um, so let's just rest. Um, can't change my stances though. All the stances are currently unavailable. Okay. Hmm. Do that. So how many skill points have we got? We've got four skill points. Four skill points. It's a great other lightsaber, I think. Um, let's do control throw. <laughs> That's cool. And rising storm. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, so I think we are completely done with the double blade lightsaber. We should have all these unlocked now as well. What else have we got? This is all fall stuff. Survival stuff. Oh, it's the survival's just the one tree, isn't it? Okay, cool. Works for me. And yeah, I suppose we will just... Okay, let's just double check. We may have picked up something new. Um, Air Republic Satellite Facility. The Republic's facility in Cobble's Moon was the first research station they built. Due to the satellite's abundance of anomalous matter, the giant firing cylinder is a prototype array beam, a technology that would be refined and transported to the planet below. Okay. We didn't read that, did we? Okay. And our tactical guy, I think... Should have updated. Um, which one did we just find? Live the Empire, Raiders. The Cross Guard one, wasn't it? 
I'm not sure. Anything saying cross guard? No, can't seem to find anything. Okay, then it mustn't be there. I, was, I just swear that like, when I died, I saw something pop up as like something to read that I didn't actually pick up. But didn't actually read through. Okay, whatever. All right, we'll leave it there. All right, guys, that's what we're going to end it for today. So we have done a really good job today in um, the Shattered Moon so far. We have done really nicely with clearing up the collectibles as we've been going as well. And we picked up a new stance as well with the Magna with the um, Cross Guard as well. So it does seem quite cool. Obviously, it's not as um, good at deflecting as the other ones because it's a heavier blade. But it does seem to do a lot more damage as well. So it might be worth checking out. Um, I think I will stick with my double bladed though. I think that's my um, my magnum opus. Uh, is magnum opus not the right word? That's my, that's my um, favorite one anyway. Uh, so yeah, I suppose next time we're just going to continue further on into the shattered moon to see if we can find Dakin's laboratory. For our prop, let me take a second to thank my amazing patron. My five pound patron is Andrew Corbin. You can find links to his channel as well as my other three pound patrons in the description down below. And also going to see my one pound patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It is truly appreciated, and it goes a long way to help the channel. So I do thank you a lot for that. And if you should go a patient, you can follow the link in the description down below. You don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.